Hello everybody. In this video, let us discuss about the introduction to the electric drives. First, let us discuss what is a drive. Drive which provides the motion control in terms of speed omega and torque t for any mechanical load. In order to understand this definition of drive in a clear way, let us consider a system of belt conveyor system which is connected to a load. So this is a belt conveyor system. This belt conveyor is provided by the mechanical energy. On the surface of this um, belt conveyor, the loads are placed. The objective of this belt conveyor is to move the load from this end to this end in this direction. Here, if you see a drive called a mechanical drive or engine or a prime mover, which is providing motion control or mechanical energy in terms of speed and torque to this belt conveyor. So by using this mechanical energy or the motion control, this belt conveyor is able to move the load from this end to this end in this direction. So this is called a drive. So in short, a drive is nothing but which provides the mechanical energy in order to move a load from one place to another place either horizontally or vertical. Now let us see about the types of the engines or the prime movers or the mechanical drives which we have. So they are of diesel engine, petrol engine and steam engine. And of course there are uh, still a lot of uh, uh, prime movers like hydraulic uh, motors, steam turbines which I have not listed here. This type of mechanical drives provides some drawbacks like refueling refueling in the sense here the prime movers uses diesel and the petrol as their fuel so often we have to refuel this with diesel and the petrol since they are costly it is not economical and this diesel and petrol creates the pollution for the environment so it is not eco-friendly too so this type of uh, mechanical drives are replaced by electric drives the function of this electric drive is also same. In previous case, the mechanical drive or the prime mover provided the mechanical energy or the motion control which is required for this belt conveyor to move this load. The same function is going to be performed by this electric motor. This electric motor is providing the mechanical energy or the motion control in terms of speed and torque required for this belt conveyor in order to move this load. See here electrical source that means electrical energy is given as this input to this electric motor the function of the electric motor is to convert electrical energy in the form of voltage and current to the mechanical energy in the form of speed and torque here the value of this speed and torque depends on the value of the voltage and current that means the value of the input electrical energy if we change the value of this electrical input energy, either voltage or current, the value of this mechanical output energy, that means the speed and torque gets changes. Now, let us define electric drive. So, based on this diagram, we can define the electric drive is one which provides the mechanical energy or the motion control using an electric motor is called an electric drive. See here. Motion control provided by an electric motor for any mechanical load is called an electric drive. This electric motor is providing mechanical energy required for this belt conveyor and this load is called an electric drive. Now let us know about the term called control which we often use in this electric drives. The term control defines either increasing or decreasing the magnitude of a particular quantity for example if somebody is saying about speed control means that means nothing but either increasing or decreasing the value of the speed if somebody says that torque control that means that either increasing or decreasing the value of the torque voltage control means either increasing or decreasing the value of the voltage and now let us <coughs> know the types of the speed drives based on the application okay so based on the application the speed drives are of divided into two one is constant speed drive and another one is variable speed drive 
in constant speed drive the drive operates at the constant speed most of the cases induction motors are used as constant speed drives in variable speed drive the speed of the electric drive can be varied okay so the dc motors are used as variable speed drives but with the invention of the power electronics mixers like thyristors uh, igdts and mosfets nowadays this induction motors are also used as variable speed drives now our objective is to control the speed of this belt conveyor why we should control this speed of the belt conveyor because in real time industrial applications sometimes there may be a requirement of the speed change of the electric motor as required by the load in our next video we are going to discuss about the speed control of an electric drive in a cement mill in a real time application uh, in our next video we are going to discuss about the applications of the electric motor and the speed control of the electric motor and why the speed control is needed in a cement mill so those things we are going to discuss in our next video before that now let us see some basic of uh, the speed control of a electric drive system so for that we need a closed loop system see here basic block diagram of closed loop speed control so this block diagram shows you the basic block diagram of closed loop speed control here electrical input energy is given to the power modulator power modulator has two functions function number 1 is this power modulator can change the nature of the electrical signal that means from ac to dc or from dc to ac as per the requirement we can change the nature of the signal second function is it can control the electric power that means the value of the electric power can be increased or decreased that means the value of the voltage or the current can be increased or decreased as per the requirement of the load now the output of this power modulator is given to the electric motor drive now this electric motor converts this electrical energy into the mechanical energy in the form of omega i mean in the form of speed and torque which is provided to the belt conveyor now our objective is to control the speed of this belt conveyor maybe increasing or decreasing the value of the speed of this belt conveyor so how it can be done as we already discussed that the value of this speed and the torque that is the mechanical energy depends on the value of the voltage and the current that is the electrical input energy if we want to change the value of the speed that means if we want to control the speed of this belt conveyor we have to change the value of this speed so in order to change this value of the speed we have to change the value of the voltage or the current so how it can be done let us see the speed at which actually this belt conveyor is running can be measured by means of a speed sensor maybe of a taco generator which is used to measure the speed omega at which it is initially running so that value of the speed is given as feedback to the control unit now this control unit provides an input signal to the power modulator now this power modulator will adjust or change the value of either the voltage or the current which is required for the load at which the new speed has to be changed so now uh, this voltage is changed by this power modulator so as soon as this voltage is changed or the electrical input energy is changed by this power modulator the mechanical output energy also changes so in this way the speed can be controlled by means of using this closed to loop control system now let us discuss this each blocks in detail so what are the types of electrical sources available first one is single phase ac supply with 230 volt 50 hertz and three phase ac supply with 415 volts 50 hertz and dc supply what are the types of power modulator we have first one is control rectifier which converts fixed ac voltage to variable dc voltage second one is chopper which converts fixed dc voltage to variable dc voltage third one is ac voltage controller which converts fixed ac voltage to variable ac voltage and inverter which converts dc voltage to ac voltage and lastly the cyclo converters which are of frequency converters that means fixed frequency to variable frequency now let us see the types of the electric motors dc motor induction motor synchronous motor of course there are the motors called brushless motors stepper motors and so and so on but here i have classified the motors 
uh, only the main motors which we are going to use in this course and types of control unit programmable logic controllers microprocessors microcontrollers phase lock loop and of course field programmable gate arrays um, and so on now let us discuss about the merits of electric drives first merit is speed torque variations here as we saw from this closed loop control system we were able to change the control the speed that means we were able to change the uh, value of the speed by means of changing the value of the voltage or the current that means we can obtain the speed torque variations by means of using this electric drives and it is eco friendly because this electric drive doesn't emits any <coughs> uh, pollutants so this electric drive doesn't creates any pollution hence it is eco friendly and the system is if high efficiency since we are not using any petrol or diesel here it is economical of course this electrical motor needs the electrical input energy the cost of this electrical input energy is less when compared to the mechanical prime mover fuels like petrol or diesel so based on all these discussions let us point out the two main objectives of this electric drives one is provides motion control this electric drives provides the motion control or the mechanical energy which is required for a load and second one is variable speed drive that means we this electric drives can be able to control the speed as per the requirement of the load by means of using this power modulator this power modulator converts the uh, sorry changes the value of the voltage and the current as per the requirement of the speed has to be changed so these two are the main functions of the electric drives now let us discuss about some applications of electric drives textile mills sugar mills cement mills steel mills paper mills these are all some industrial applications and electric drives are also used in electric traction electric vehicles and some of the domestic appliances like washing machines and air conditioners so these are all the applications of electric drives so that is all about the introduction to the electric drives in our next video let us discuss about the real time applications of electric drives the speed control of electric drives and the why the speed control of electric drives is required in cement mills thank you